is going on guys it's dyslexic guy 96 here and we are back at it with another video over on american truck simulator now you're gonna notice looks a little different like i said in the last episode our buddy up here in montana called us up and asked us to do a load for him um he actually had us fly up to thompson falls i thought it was gonna be out of cali spell but unfortunately not we're gonna be in a western star i think it's got like 370 horsepower um 12 speed or something like that um and it's a fully full manual so we're going down to salmon idaho so it'll be a new city that we find but i it was the best i mean it's the best route he offered so um i think uh let's see it takes about four hours and 48 minutes i think what we might do since it's our only one is do exactly what you we did last week in that we just drive it and kind of just Uh, just kind of talk through and stuff. Oh my god, I'm not used to a trailer this big. Alright. Oh my god. Let's not smack this trailer the first moment I get it. Jeez. Sorry guys, I'm not quite used to the whole long trailer. Um, so we will be, I think it's a 12-speed transmission now. Um, you're going to notice if you look down at the gear indicator that... Um, it generally is going to shift like an Eaton 18 speed. Um, ATS doesn't really have a 12 speed option. I could do like a 13 or, a, you know, one of the 10, so, you know, just something else. But I thought keep it simple and go from there. Uh, so, yeah, short little ride. Um, I hope you guys enjoy today's video uh, that is getting posted. It's going to be the uh, uh, Snow Runner video. Um, and in that, like I said, uh, I have an issue where, you know, it's it's not actually uh, saving or, like, keeping the saves. So we'll see. I, I plan on filming today or tomorrow for that and uh, seeing if I can't get that to work again. Um, but if not, I will just have to wait and buy and buy the video. Uh, actually, buy it on Steam. I'm sorry. Uh, so we'll have to see. This is quite the bumpy ride, and I'm taking it at 24 miles per hour. Because why wouldn't you do that on a dirt road? Definitely different than driving the Ram. Um, but my buddy was able to get me. Um, I got the air brake uh, qualifications over on my CDL, along with the ability to drive a manual. Because like I said at the start of the series, guys, uh, when I got my CDL, I just took it with the Ram 3500 and the uh, uh, the Gooseneck. So they, they didn't allow me to get air brakes or anything like that. And uh, I was stuck on a restriction. So he helped me get the manual and stuff. Uh, we're just in a little Western Star day cab pulling a little bulldozer, a little, a bulldozer down to Salmon. So we'll kind of see how this goes. Uh, it's definitely going to be an eventful ride, seeing as, you know, first time in a fully-fledged semi. Um, and I'll have to get used to it, I, you know, over on my actual saves. I'm not used... I, I shift, um, I float gears and stuff, but in a true 18 speed. So it's definitely harder. Oh, I'm coming way out. Oh, and I killed it right off the bat. Am I not in first? Ah, it's probably a... Sorry, technical difficulties. I can't seem to shift. My god. This is really going to be a fun day if I could shift. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because it's a 12 speed. And I've got to be actually hitting one low, one high, that kind of, that kind of thing. And like I said, I'm not quite used to the uh, shift pattern of a 12 speed. So we'll see. We'll see if I can get the hang of this before the end of the trip. Um, so yeah, guys. I hope you're enjoying the, the videos this week. I, I had a little extra time to be able to film, which was nice. Um, last night, Monday night, was the Eagles game. Um, I am an Eagles fan. And uh, it was definitely definitely a 
easy one to watch. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but it's easier to watch than most times that I, I watch. What? Is that the turn signal? What is that? Oh my god. That is, I am all over the road. I am sorry, guys. I don't know what that is. There's the turn signal. Is there some safety feature on this thing? That is crazy. <laughs> my god. So, um, on today's route, um, obviously, uh, we are unfortunately don't need to go down the curvy roads. Um, it just didn't work out. We're not going up to uh, Coeur d'Alene or Spokane or anything. We're going down. So it just didn't make sense. It's not a shortcut then. And it's raining. And as you've been seeing, my driving is not that uh, the greatest. I don't know why, why I'm not doing so hot with the driving, but it is unfortunately what it is. We'll figure that out towards the end here. Um, nice to be in a day cab. Nice to be in a nicer truck I mean still has about 400 oh this has 466 thousand miles on it I wonder if we'll hit that with the Ram I highly doubt it um, if I'm able to hit 460 thousand miles in trucks in this series it'll be amazing but I doubt it unless we're still going strong when they uh, make the entire US map oh my god and we're slipping and sliding. We are slipping and sliding. I have to remind myself, we're having bigger loads and we're, uh... Ah, oh, that's a weak Jake break. And we're having, you know, weaker, um, or, you know, heavier loads. Weaker. Weaker. I have stronger trucks. We're just kind of, you know, stuck with sliding around a little bit. And I did notice after the last update, I slide a lot more or than I should, should like, um, especially in the Ram. I'm like all over the place. It's, uh, it's not cool. Come on, shift. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know if it's the, oh my God. I am sorry guys, I am not shifting well. Um, so yeah, let's see. Oh, the shifting is just making me cry. Oh, this is a two lane, sorry. Glad I didn't run into anyone. So now we're getting up onto the, oh man, up onto the highway. Got about four hours left. Um, I'll make it kind of like last episode where, you know, I, I'm not talking the entire way. A little interject here and there. Um, should be good. Uh, let me know, guys, if you like the semi um, runs, because uh, might be in our future with how I look. I like the look of our uh, employees' trucks as well. Um, which, speaking of employees, at the end of this uh, episode here when we deliver, um, I am definitely going to check on them to see if they are running a load because I, I'm just very confused as to why they're not. So, but with that, just uh, sit back, enjoy the ride, and um, I'll kind of interject as we see fit, especially when we get closer to Sam, and I know the roads are a little curvier and nicer to look at. So.
Sorry guys, I'm not shifting too hot in this this uh this drive today. It's a it's a bit bit odd. I don't. Oh, good. Got the green check mark to bypass. Um, I'm just not not driving too hot, so I do apologize for that. So, yeah, we're uh, about two, uh, almost three hours outside of Salmon. The big thing I'm ready for is once we get to here, it's a whole bunch of curves. So that should be a good portion of the drive there. Um, I know in, in the real world, uh, you know, in, in life, um, I, I, I have actually driven that, and it's a beautiful, beautiful drive. So I'm hoping it, it makes up here in the game too. Ugh. I'm not hitting those shift cues right at all. Sorry, guys. And I'm missing the shift. I'm so used to driving automatic with the RAM that when you get set up in the manual here, ignore the automatic shifter down there. It's definitely not an automatic. <laughs> um, with, the, uh, with the shifting, I'm just not used to shifting, and then I forget to shift because I've been driving automatic so much. It's, it's crazy to me, so... Um, what do you guys prefer in your like cars in real life? Do you prefer a manual car? Do you prefer an uh, automatic? Um, I know I, I had an F-150 and stuff and things like that. I know they've stopped making them in manuals. I, w I wish you could get a truck with them, but I know nowadays when like Ford and Chevy created the 10-speed automatic, that shifts a, a lot better than most people can, especially for towing purposes and efficiency. Those automatics definitely shift better than what most people think they can shift so I mean I, I understand why but I always I always wanted that manual so I know as of late I've been looking up on like Facebook marketplace and stuff for a uh, manual F like F350 or something I know you can get Rams and manuals uh, from a later date but um, I've always liked Ford but I wouldn't mind going Dodge or I should say Ram um, 2500 or 3500 to get the manual. Um, just because I do like that manual. Oh, we're sliding again. I'm forgetting that I have uh, like a 40,000 pound uh, <laughs> bulldozer behind me here. In that, if I'm taking these too sharp, I will be the bulldozer uh, with a bulldozer attached. So. <laughs> I'd rather not crash my buddy's truck. I know it's got almost half a million miles on it, but I, I don't feel like I need to be the one to crash it. Um, I wish in the game we could buy used, tru used trucks like this. Like, you, you know, I see this Western Star is 460000 um, Buy that at a cheaper cost than what you could buy a new one. But I understand there's not much of that because they make the deals with the manufacturers of these trucks to uh, basically, I mean, they're obviously wanting to show the trucks in good light. They're, you know, you're not supposed to have them be used and like add in a gameplay element where, you know, your engine can break down. You have to either replace the engine for a lot of money or, you know, sell the truck so I understand why that's not in there but I'd love to the point when we could get to that point because uh, it, it would be really cool um, I was searching the inter internet the other day I was on reddit and uh, a a steering wheel came up on my page and uh, it's by Aerosoft move they also have a couple of games Um, yeah, it looks like a full steering wheel system. Um, it's got like a, a like a knob for you to hold on to on your steering wheel. It's got lots of buttons. It's got the push to start engine. It's got the blinkers and the wipers and all that like in the um, steering wheel. And then the shifter looks to have the setup for like an 18 speed. Uh, looks awesome. Oh my god. And I get into a car accident because I'm looking at my phone. I'm an idiot. Well, I'll owe my buddy a couple of a couple hundred dollars to pay for the damage to his truck. I'm running out of fuel. I don't think I've ever had that come up on a uh, quick jobs. 
How much, how many miles till empty? I'm confused. That's crazy. I've never had that come up on a quick job. But yeah, um, I think I, what I'll do is I'll put that steering wheel down in the description. Uh, there's no pre-order button or anything like that, so I don't know when it's coming out. It just says, um, oh, it says pre-order now. I'm all over the place. It wasn't like that a couple of days ago. Um, it looks like it's going to be a pre-order. Um, it looks like normally 320,000 pounds. Or 300, yeah, 320, 000, uh, 320 euros. Um, but if you pre-order now, um, you'll get 10% off. Merge left ahead. I'm sorry, car. Um, first production is limited. Delivery expected in 2024. Um, so, yeah. I know it's a, it's a European company. They make uh, um, some other games, like off-road adventure or something like that. Um, so and a and a bus game. So I, I think they originally made that for like the bus simulators that they make. It's a really cool system. I should probably stop looking at my phone now. Um, but I'll, I'll put that down in the description if you guys want to check it out. I don't get anything from it. It's just I came upon it and it was really cool. Um, I, I'm tempted. It doesn't have a, a full like uh, the normal like Logitech lo rotation. I think it's stuck at 900 degrees. So I know some people don't like that. They like a full steering wheel system. Uh, or like a full rotation ability. Uh, what is that, like 1,800 degrees or something? I, thousand, ten, I'm not quite sure what the full rotation is. Um, so I know some people were a little bit wary on that. But it looks like it'd be a cool setup and not that expensive. Um, especially because you get, I mean, 300 euros is probably like $320, something around there, I think, 350 not quite sure the conversion rate right now um but it comes with a whole bunch and it allows you to do the 18 speed transmission shifting and stuff so i, I mean or like, you know have a splitter and a range so i think that's wicked especially out of a company you'd think someone like logitech and or even like turtle beach now that they made the flight simulator uh yoke and stuff wouldn't come along and notice that this market for American trucks or like, you know simulators for trucking Euro truck American truck have a booming industry of business like um, I know Southern trucker gaming or something he was making as a full-time job he was making shifters and stuff but uh, I know he had some family issues and had to stop uh, and he's now part-time so very long order times I would think Logitech would notice that and either a give you like shifter add-ons for more money or like you know at like create a a steering wheel for that because i'm seeing these other companies notice that there is a market for it so it'd be kind of cool if you could see or logitech came out with something that uh is you know a little bit you know i don't want to say better quality but has the uh the brand behind it that at least you know it's going to be good like the steering wheel that's pre-order is uh coming for its first production so you never know if you're gonna get a bad um, setup there, which is a shame, but I, I I have full faith. I think I think those steering wheels are gonna be good. We'll have to see when this first production comes out. I don't know if I'll be one of those that pre-orders it or not. Um, especially since I mean it's a foreign country or foreign ordering system. That doesn't really scare me, but you never know how long it takes to get and just in the normal country that they're producing it in. A lot, I think it's German, Germany that they're producing it out of. Um, so we'll have to see. But like I said, guys, down in the description box, you'll see uh, you'll see that link along with, uh, of course, the G2A Games uh, link. I have seen a, a, a couple of people have clicked on it. Uh, remember, guys, just click on it, browse. If you see something you like or a price you like, go ahead and buy, and it helps the channel out. But then it also helps you out because I know they do the, you know the. The games and stuff like that and there's discounts so you guys get yourself a discounted game i get myself a little boost for the channel um and it's i at least on my side it's a win-win um i also am tempted to do like an amazon shopping list not because i think you guys want want it too much but 
Again, that's something if you click on the link and buy anything, it'll help the channel out. But also, get just let you guys know what we're using on the channel. So, like my PC, it's actually uh, at this point fairly old. I think five years, six years old. I can't quite remember. It's it's quite a bit bit of an age here. I might have to be a garage we looking to buy and to expand into a, another state. Um, but yeah, I've got like the i7 7700K processor. Um, and then I have a 1070 Ti for uh, um, a graphics card. So I, I know it, it's sooner or later here, whenever I have the ability to, or the funds, I should say. Oh. Put it in the right gear. Jeez, I am so sorry, guys. Um, whenever I have the funds here, I am going to be upgrading... Jeez, I am so sorry. My shifting is all over the place. Um, but I am going to be upgrading my PC. Because um, I, I would like, for one, I have 16 gigs of RAM. And when I'm doing editing for these videos and stuff, it's not terribly bad. Just because I'm not doing a whole bunch of, like, you know, effects and stuff. My videos are very cut and dry or cut and paste. You know, I cut, delete some inter intermission stuff. Or, like, on today's video, it's just kind of like touch it up, see if I can do anything. And then, you know, trim off the edges of when I start recording and then add in my intro and outro. Not a whole lot. But I do notice it takes a while to, one, render. It takes about two hours to render. And um, I think part of that is RAM. RAM is definitely what's one, one thing stopping us from, um, you know, faster speeds god i'm just missing these shifts um so yeah that's that's the channel goal you know any anything i make from the channel will go into that uh, quote unquote savings jar to build a new pc for the uh the channel or like buy a game and stuff i i do know you guys still want me to play risk of rain and stuff and um i am looking into it i don't know if i'll actually you know play it fully or you know make a make a big series out of it or if it'll just be one of those that we you know play occasionally i did see a viewer request to be able to uh, join me um and i'm more than okay with that once we once we get into the uh to the video or the the series but i just kind of have to play around but like i said guys any money that we make from the channel which obviously on youtube i'm not making money i'm not under under the monetization yet um any money like that is always going to go back into the channel just because, I mean, that's the whole point. I don't see a reason to stick money elsewhere when the channel is what's giving me it. So it's kind of like investing in the future for it. Um, but, oh, won't have too hard of a back in here. Running out of fuel. I can't believe it. That's the first time I've ever had that happen on a delivery. I have to let him know he's running out of fuel. Parking brake on. Hit the decoupler. Lowering, and we're gonna unload. There we go. Distance was 246 miles from Thompson Falls to Salmon, Idaho. Took about six hours and 44 minutes. We used 60 gallons of fuel. Holy crap! That's a lot of fuel. I think we used like what 14, 15 in our truck. So. We'll have to weigh the cost out with upgrading to a bigger truck. Only made eight grand, 482 XP. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, let's go check on our drivers and see if they've done anything. Aha! Pierre has, in fact, picked up a load. Perfect. I will continue to watch for Joshua in the next video um, because obviously... I will fire you right off the bat. Um, what is that status? I wish they would give us the statuses. So Pierre is resting. And then what is... I, I don't know what all these statuses are. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look up...
I don't know. Well, we'll have to figure that out. If anyone knows, let me know what that is. I don't know if that means unloaded. That's got to be unloaded because I'm back in my RAM. Am I in Cali spell? Oh, no. It brought me back to Rawlings. So I flew back to Rawlings. So, um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if it ever loads. This is a slow load. <laughs> um, please like, comment anything you want me to play in the future, or comment what you like about the series. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we're on the road to 100 subscribers. It'd be perfect if we could get there. Um, I'm hoping to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. We'll see if that's doable. I'm about 40% of the way there, give or take. Um, but with that, guys, as always, love doing these for you. But we'll see you guys in the next video.